Hi everyone, it's Tom, WA2IVD. I know it's been a while since I've put out any videos. Things have been really hectic around the house and with family. Nothing bad, just busy. This time, we're going to take a look at a feature of the IC7100 memories that is very useful and occasionally confusing. All of the memories in the IC7100 are tunable. This is mentioned briefly in the introduction to the memory section of the manual, and then it's not discussed or explained anywhere else in the manual. This is also a feature that's common to most recent ICOM radios. Let's take a look. One of the nice things about the memories on the 7100 is that they are tunable. So what do we mean by tunable? Well, I'm on bank C channel 3 right now and that's an 80 meter net frequency that I have programmed in here and let's see if I go to channel 4 this is a 20 meter frequency so let's say you have a net that you normally operate or maybe a schedule with somebody let me turn the squelch off a little bit here and let's say your net had to move because of interference or whatever so you're on the memory channel and here's somebody calling so we had to tune off frequency a little bit off off the memory frequency let me squelch this I didn't have to put that into the VFO or change any settings I can just turn the dial and change the frequency so the memory is completely tunable. Now, once you tune it, you haven't actually rewritten the memory or changed anything that's stored in the memory. So if I want to get back to the frequency that's actually stored in the memory, there's a couple different ways you can do it. One, I can just go to a different channel and when I go back to this channel, it's back to 27800 where it was originally set. So, and, and then again, I can tune it again, but it hasn't written that into memory. The other way you can get back to the original frequency is I can just tap the memory channel here on the display, and I go to the VFO. Curiously, that's what's in VFOA. Um, and then if I go back to memory, it's back to the frequency that I had in memory. And let, me, let me just change the VFO to something else here just so it's not confusing. So the other one is on menu one, you have the V slash M button, which goes between memory and VFO, and that'll do the same thing as touching the display over here. So if you've tuned to a different frequency, all you got to do is go to VFO and back to the memory, or as I said, you can change the channel and back to the original channel, and that will go back to what's programmed in the memory. So the fact that you can tune the memory, and tune not only means tuning, I can change, for example, to lower sideband, or I can change the filter to filter 3. Um, so let's just really mess this up. So I'm going to AM and filter three. And if I go back to a different memory and back, I'm back on upper side band and filter two. So the memory retains everything that was programmed into the memory, but you can change it all without having to bother dumping it into a VFO or doing anything else. So that's very nice for HF. There is a little bit of a snag for this with FM and repeaters that you can get yourself confused with if you're not careful because actually the one other method that I didn't show, if I've, uh, if I've tuned around here to a different frequency, of course the other way I can get back is I can just tune back to what the memory was uh, originally set to. Now I'm still back to what I was originally set to just by tuning the dial back. So again, on HF, pretty simple. You can always recall the memory again and get back to where you were. On two meters, 
or 440 or anytime you have a repeater programmed, the, all of these things that I've just done work the same way, but there's a little bit of a snag if you use the tuning knob to get back that can cause you some confusion. So let's take a look at what happens with that. Let me go to uh, a local repeater here. So this is 147.36, the Paola repeater. And let's see, we'll just uh, check it here. WA2 IVD testing. Good afternoon. So welcome to the Wheat State Wireless Association. WS we keyed up the repeater, Paola it's in memory. And especially when you're mobile, Let's say I'm driving around and I'm, you know, either I reach over for something and I bump this. Whoops, I've changed the frequency. Well, and again, I can just switch back like I did or go to VFO and memory, everything that I just showed you. But if I bump it off frequency and then I look and I, I notice that, I'm like, oh, crap, I bumped it off frequency. So I'm going to just go back to 147. 36 and now I'm on 14736 and you can see it's still set up for a repeater 14796 WA2 IVD testing and I have not keyed up the repeater and I keyed it up just a minute ago without any trouble WA2 IVD testing so what happened well if you look carefully you will notice if I go out of the memory and I go back into the memory, you will see the tone squelch symbol up here. This repeater requires a tone, a PL tone, to bring it up. And so I had tone squelch programmed in this memory. If you tune off the memory on FM and you have, or and a repeater or whatever, if you have uh, repeater programmed, you have a tone offset, you have tone squelch, any of those kinds of things that you program for a repeater, it does not, when you just tune back, as soon as you tune off frequency, it turns off the tone squelch because you've now changed frequency, so it doesn't know what tone squelch you might want for wherever you're moving to. So it turns off the tone squelch by default. Now, the repeater offset actually came back in correctly that's because the radio is set to do auto repeater offset so based on what frequency you're on it will go to the standard repeater offset for that frequency if you have a repeater programmed that has an odd split where it's not a standard offset that offset will go away too if you tune off frequency accidentally on a repeater memory, you really want to make sure that you actually go back using the memory, uh, one of the methods to go get the memory channel back because all of those things unique to the repeater will not come back if you just tune back with the dial. Let's try this now that I've gone back to it, WA2 IVD testing. And there we are, we're back on the repeater again and I can key it up again. So just to uh, a little quirk that you want to be aware of, especially using this rig mobile and especially with repeater programming. That's about it. Just wanted to do a little short video and show that quirk because that's tripped me up a couple of times where I've seen that I was off frequency and I just used the dial to go back and didn't really think about it while I was driving. And then I tried to get into a repeater and couldn't get into the repeater and wondered what was going on. Well, that's what's going on. It doesn't put all of the other settings back unless you actually recall the memory again. I hope this helps some of you. Thanks for watching. Good afternoon. The time is 4.30 p.m. Well, that's it for this time. I should be back on track to getting more videos out on a regular basis again. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a click on the like button. If you enjoy the channel or find it useful, please consider subscribing. You can also click on that bell icon and then you'll be alerted whenever new videos come out. You'll find a link to the companion website in the description and also at the bottom of the screen. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Radio A to Z.